Hey everybody, welcome to Combo Club. I am Pete. I am Justin. And uh, Alex, you know, again, is with child, so he sends his apologies. We don't need to, we don't need to keep talking about it. All right, well. People can just, if they even remember his name, they can just <laughs> imagine a, pl a fun place where he is. Well, speaking of fun. Alex is in Candyland, eating uh, a lollipop are you, tree. Are you angry? I know. Uh, uh, so, uh, we're, speaking of fun, what we're going to do is uh, a lot of big events going on right now. So we're going to do uh, focus this show on the Marvel events, and then the next show will be the DC events. Because it's fair, because those are two companies. Yes, thank you. So today we're going to talk about uh, New Mutants number 13, part 7 of Second Coming. Uh, Hulk number 22, part Who Cares out of World War Hulks. <laughs> oh, and come on. Siege number 4, the end of all things in the Marvel Universe. Ooh. Let's kick it off and talk about Siege number 4. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, wow, powerful issue, a lot of stuff happening. See, yes. I disagree. Not a lot happened. What are you talking about? Someone died? So that a happens new every team issue. is formed? No. Uh, Tony Stark had a soda? A lot of big hitting events. I know, he might be diabetic. There's a twist for yeah. you. Yeah. Here's uh, the thing with this, is uh, not a lot of surprises here. I wish there were more. I mean, the only, the biggest surprise was the Urkel moment, um, in which oh the Sentry, uh, the Sentry you. sort of after he's uh, back to normal, uh, he's like, uh, did I do this? Did I do this? That's Remember? Not, uh, That's his Urkel. I don't he's basically think he's essentially Urkel. I don't think the out. writer was like, I'm going to have a great Urkel moment. No, they use it, a lot of TGIF quotes. That's how Bendis writes. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's true. Yeah, he's always quoting Balky Bartokamus. <laughs> uh, like, straight. Straight out of it. Back okay. on me post. Thor says back on me post all the time. No. He's from Asgard, not me post. Uh, can, can you show for a second so I talk about this? Uh, I thought this was... Uh, a solid issue. There was uh, kind of some s touching moments at the end, especially that last uh, page. I was like, wow. I'm excited to see uh, what the next moves are, but this is sort of just going through the motions. Which is me. which is also a nice thing about uh, Siege is it's really setting up. You're excited for the next thing, you know which I think is the, an important part. The Norn Stones. These are rocks. They're little rocks that Loki's like, little oh, by rocks, little by rocks. Like a little kid in third grade. This, is a little, this rock tumbler broke over the weekend. I just wish there more happened that I was excited about. I, but I, I think it's crazy that you're the angry one in, in, in this now that... Uh, I got a lot of anger. Yeah, apparently. Alex yeah. get my anger. Uh, I guess check. I'm overtaking Alex role and you're being me. Hulk fucking 22. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, I didn't mean to swear like that. Uh, sorry, kids. So, Hulk 22, wow. Crazy. Jeff Loeb is just hitting us over the head with... One crazy thing after well, another. I don't know. Everybody's hulked out. Everyone's hulked out. That's not that spoiler. crazy. Uh, here's the thing. There's a big reveal at the end of this. We finally find out who Red Hulk is. Red Hulk or is. Rulk, as uh, people who mm -hmm. hate him say. Uh, and then you have the reveal of She-Hulk, the Red right. She-Hulk, which I think is the more exciting reveal on the issue. We won't spoil it for you, yeah. uh, but... Um, but you do have to take into consideration because all of the greatest minds are under... Like, what are we seeing right now? Is this truth? Is this really happening? It's or is true, this man. in someone else's psyche? You yeah. know, Think about it. Know. What if this is just, a, is just a comic book that a Blue Hulk is reading in a different... On God's fingernail. Oh, oh man. Think That's kind of like the max. That's my theory. That was kind of like the max. That's my theory. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. Now I feel like they can finally start telling a story now that we know who the character, all the characters are, yeah. as opposed to this, like, always put on, putting off the coy, uh, but, the coy secret. But I've been, I've been liking the, sort of the, the spine of this, this event, as opposed to, like, there's been too much. There's a lot of stuff. Hulked Out like. Heroes was a real shitty issue, but oh, I don't oh, mind this, hey. this comic too heavy. It was a little crazy. I say pick this one up. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But the, what I'm really excited about, Second Coming, oh, what a primo crossover this is. Takes you back to um, uh, Executioner's Song, one of my favorite crossovers from my youth. Um, and then, the, then my other favorite crossover is when I crossed over with my prom date uh, during senior prom. <laughs> oh, I don't, that, that has nothing to do with comics. I'll show you the book I have. Uh, but anyway. anyway. <laughs> Please, you've just been rambling. So, anyways, uh, this, I can't take any more of this. I can't wait for this thing to be done what? because this, people are dying. I can't take any more of this. this you love is, when people die. Scott is off those rails. Uh, Scott Summers lost it. I don't know what he's doing anymore. He he needs to be reeled in. This is getting way out of hand. I can't take any more of this. For I can't those, wait for the For second. those same reasons, I love it. Well, Finally, fine. we have these characters put through the grinder. Nightcrawler's dead. Good. Uh, no, that's not good. No, that's bad. He died hap nobly, not happily, probably. Yeah, nobly, he died nobly, yes, yes. and he's a character that has a spoiler. Sort of, in case you didn't know. You, know, you already know this. He's a character that's been sort of wandering for a couple years. Like, it's great to finally 
may make him die. No, <laughs> it's not. Don't. I mean, because that that's what's upsetting is Nightcrawler was a cool character. Just he, for some reason, people couldn't write him well or whatever. I think he could have been great. He was one of my favorite yeah, characters. Banff. That's yeah, it's right. It's writing. Uh, but the, the X-Men seem exciting again. There's a lot of danger out of here, and it's not just in a tiny room in uh, the X-Mansion. It's danger everywhere. Uh, it's <coughs> perhaps a pull quote. Wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, no, this, I love this crossover. If you're not picking it up, pick it up. It pays off so many storylines in such a great way. Um, so that's that's the that's Marvel that's the Marvel universe that's, that's the Marvel the universe quo. right now. What's so, going down? Uh, check it out. Tell your friends um, about our show. Uh, don't tell them about the Marvel universe. They get it. They <laughs> live there. Um, yeah, keep watching. Subscribe. Uh, leave us some comments. Uh, and check us out on our live show if you're ever in New York City on a Tuesday night, eight uh, o'clock. Those are the days. Yeah. Later, folks.